Welcome back to your 41 NBC Sports. I'm Shaz Parani. Hope you had a relaxing and fun Memorial Day and with a busy weekend in sports, let's get you caught up. With every Memorial Day comes the Indy 500 and let's take a look at the highlights. Throughout the race, New Zealander Scott Dixon in the number nine car looked like he would become the likely winner as he led the most laps and also set the career record of total laps led at the Indy 500. But a late pit road speeding penalty ended his chances at the title as Dixon finished 21st. However, it was a career day for Swedish driver Marcus Ericsson in the number eight car as he beat up Pato Award on the final lap to claim his first ever Indy 500 and becomes just the second driver ever from Sweden to drink the milk. Ericsson also earns the highest winning check in the race's history worth $3.1 million. Now to college baseball. First to the Mercer baseball team as their season comes to an end as they fall to UNCG in an elimination game in the SOCON tournament 16-5. The Bears did enter the tournament as a two seed, so a disappointing early exit. And they finished the season with a record of 40-18 and, and a 12-9 and conference record. The UGA baseball team fell in the first round of the SEC tournament. However, they have received an at-large bid and are in the NCAA baseball tournament. The Bulldogs are in the Chapel Hill region with UNC Chapel Hill, VCU, and Hofstra. The Bulldogs face a very hot VCU squad in the first matchup on Friday. And the Rams are coming off of 15 straight victories and the A-10 conference championship. The Georgia Tech baseball team season also looked like it ended in their ACC tournament. However, the Yellow Jackets also received an at-large bid for the NCAA baseball championships. They are in the tough Knoxville region with the overall tournament one seed Tennessee, Campbell, and Alabama State. Tech faces Campbell in the first matchup on Friday. To our hometown team, the Macon Bacons, they took on the Lexington County Blowfish tonight. And the Bacon are currently up 8-3 and are close to beating the Blowfish for a second time this season. The Bacon will be 4-1 once they close out this game, and they are 4-1 on the early season. The only loss they take on the season is against the Savannah Bananas, and the Bacon are back in action tomorrow against the Florence Flamingos on the road. And to the MLB as the Braves claim their weekend series against the Marlins 2-1 and begin a new series against the Arizona Diamondbacks yesterday. The Braves lost game 1-6-2, and currently the score is 5-2 in, in the top of the sixth inning. These teams face off again tomorrow at 3.40 p.m. The NBA Finals are officially set as we have teams on literally, literally both sides of the coast competing for the Larry O'Brien Trophy. The Golden State Warriors will represent the Western Conference. The Warriors are back in the Finals for a sixth time in the last eight seasons. They did miss the playoffs entirely the last two seasons as one half of the Splash Brothers, Clay Thompson, had missed two seasons and Curry got injured in 2020. Now the Warriors are fully healthy and look to win their fourth title in the last eight seasons. The Boston Celtics will be representing the Eastern Conference. The Celtics have a different story than the Warriors as after 12 years, they have finally reached the finals once again. And after a few years of racking up draft picks and rebuilding, the young Celtics squad is looking to prove to the basketball world that the Celtics dynasty is hopefully back. Game one of the finals is set for Thursday at 9 p.m. in San Francisco. And that's it for your sports. Another look at your forecast right after this.